First of all, congratulations on the movie. Um, we're very proud of Felix when you it. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like uh, working with him? It's the true joy and, uh, you know, like a, a director, but also an artist and, um, and someone who was like totally unbothered by, you know, we were shooting in LA and totally unbothered by the, the Hollywood of it all. And, uh, which was very good for me and I think healthy. I really, when we shot this, I really didn't have a career at this point. And uh, it was good for me to be, I think, in the, in the care of someone that um, like didn't have any Hollywood sensibilities. It was like Belgica, Broken Circle Breakdown. Those are like really art house movies. So, and then also, I think Steve said this earlier, so I'm gonna steal your sound bite, but he has this amazing thing where like, he has this amazing thing of like, um, he can be very specific about what he wants and then yet he'll open it up to uh, for you to figure it out within those bounds, but but pretty much within those bounds and sticking to the lines, you can kind of land naturally. So it was a real joy working with him, and and uh, like you said, yeah, it, it was nice to work with someone that was like fresh here or something. Mm -hmm. so. he, yeah, I mean to follow up on that, he was open to debate, and he didn't always agree with the suggestions that we had, but he was willing to hear them, and uh, and listen. And I think that's really important because you can come into, especially a film like this, that is so specific, but at the same time is going a number of different directions. Um, and he had it mapped out in his head, but at the same, but but he was he was still relying on us and our personal experiences as a son, as a father, to bring those to bear. And uh, we spent a couple of weeks rehearsing before we started, which I thought was really smart to sort of get the the jitters away and stop thinking about how how we're going to act this and concern ourselves with the story and the characters and the arcs of where these people go and um and in that way it felt very clean it felt like he just sort of just sort of created this this lovely uh, experience and very gentle experience for us all to share before we got into the, the thick of the content. There's also like a Felix before and after he had the baby. I think we can <laughs> talk a little bit about that because first he was asking you for, you know, advice, but can you and now he on? knows it all. Yeah, he knows it all. <laughs> no, he, I, well, I think he did. I think, I think not having children, uh, I think he did rely on the fact that I, I had two kids at similar ages to uh, Timothy's character in the movie. And um, is there a different side of him now? I don't know. He's always been really sweet and gentle and soft spoken. He's got his kid on his back all the time. <laughs> That's right. Um, I don't know. He could probably speak to that better. But, but it's not like it brought out a different level of warmth because I always felt that he was a a warm guy and, and open. It was really surprising at first, I remember, that he didn't have, I remember, like, not that people give off this vibe in life, but I remember thinking or assuming and meeting him, oh, yeah, this is like a father, and he wasn't. Great. So he says. <laughs> no, no.